Hi everybody, Raul Garcia here. Welcome back to our product manager podcast. And I got Sonny Lee here. Hey, good to be here. Welcome, welcome back. So Sonny, today I wanted to talk about some frequently asked questions that I get from account managers. I want to see if you help us out. Yeah, what you got? Okay, first question. How do I recommend the correct tabletop printer to my customer? What do you think about that? Yeah, that's a great question. I wish there was like one straightforward answer. Mm -hmm. But if we had to boil it down to like the main question that we should be asking our customers, it's the duty cycle. That's probably the, one of the most important things that we need to get from the customer. And basically what we mean by that is how many labels per day okay. are you gonna be printing or planning to print out of this printer? Sure, sure. So duty cycle is very important. So how do I determine duty cycles from our vast options of tabletop printers? Right, so we have our tiered portfolio. We have our ZT100, our ZT200, that's considered our entry level mm -hmm. tabletop. Then we have our ZT400 model here, that's our mid tier. And then we have our ZT500 and our ZT600, that's our, our premium tier. And the best way to ballpark things is, let's say you're using like a four by six label, that's okay. probably the most common sure. label out there. Using a four by six label, if you're in those low thousands, like a 1,000, 2,000 labels per day area, that ZT100, 200's a great fit. Okay. If you start getting up into the mid thousands, that's where you really wanna look towards the ZT400 line. Mm -hmm. And then if you're up in those high thousands and like 24 seven operation, the ZT500 and the ZT600 is, is the best fit. Perfect, mission critical applications. Yep. Um, what about next question is, how do I recommend the correct DPI resolution? Because it seems like every printer has different options in regards to resolution. Yeah, DPI is super important. That stands for dots per inch. Mm -hmm. So the more dots you have, the better resolution you can get. Okay. The most common resolution is 200 DPI. That's the lowest resolution we offer on all of our tabletops. And that's standard in the barcoding world? Yeah, that's the most common. That's mm -hmm. typically what you'll see like on a shipping label, okay. product labels, retail type label are, are typically using like 200 DPI. Mm -hmm. When you start getting into the 300 and 600 DPI, which both the 400 and 600 series support, those are more specialty type labels. Maybe you're printing really small fine fonts or in some cases, some really small barcodes. Yeah, because I have a lot of electronic component manufacturers and they, if you think about it, if you break open a laptop, you see these small, small labels with 2D barcodes on there. What, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, those are what we call micro labels. So those really small, teeny tiny barcodes really need to be printed on like a 600 DPI print resolution and uh, really gets that fine detail needed so the barcodes can be scanned. Okay, so that leads me to my next question. How do I ensure the best print quality for my customers? Yeah, so after you got the duty cycle, you got your right DPI. Mm -hmm. There are some settings on the printers that you can use to adjust and get dialed in to get the best print quality. Also, you know, a big factor is the quality of the materials that you're using for the labels and the ribbons. Sure. Obviously, Zebra has the best quality that you can get. You know, that ensures consistent you know, quality out of the Zebra printers. But after you know, got that dialed in, your print speed and your darkness levels are things that you can play with and, and try to find that sweet spot. Sure, sure, okay. So last question I get a lot is about print heads. You know, how do I prolong the life of my print head? Yeah, so on our industrial printers, there are some parts that need to be replaced periodically, so mm -hmm. consumable parts. The print head is one of them, the mm -hmm. platen roller is another. And just by cleaning those components periodically, you can actually extend the life of those parts several fold. How often should they be doing that then? So what we recommend is every time you change the ribbon on the printer, or if it's a direct thermal only operation, every time you change the roll of media. Okay, so the printer's down anyways, just clean out the print head. Yeah, the so we, we've got videos on our support page and our YouTube channel that Perfect. really show the proper cleaning procedure. There's a mixture of isopropyl alcohol that you use, you just wipe off the gunk and clean that print head. It's gonna actually extend the life of it in some cases, five, six times much longer. Great. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. This is really good information. Anything else you wanna add? Yeah, hopefully this is helpful. These are just some kind of ballpark numbers. Mm -hmm. It's not always one size fits all, but hopefully these give you some general numbers that can help you get started and help you choose the best Zebra printer that's right for your operation. Wonderful. Thanks everybody, we'll see you soon. Bye guys.